welcome everyone to Silver Asset of the Day for the 3rd of December 2021, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So as we get towards the end of the week here, what do you need to be aware of? Well, first of all, we have, of course, now seen the end of month sell-off, of course, as I mentioned before, with silver, with prices down over 4%. In the last week, with hedge funds and money managers, they have reduced their net long positions on silver by 2% in the last week. Of those hedge funds that have a position on silver, 69% are currently long. Now, of course, all of this was to be expected at the end of the month, as we've talked you through multiple times before. Expect from the middle of November there to be a rug pull on the metals for gold and silver prices to be under pressure. Silver prices, they're now down over $3.00. In the last couple of weeks, a 300 point move to the downside. Just this week alone, they're down over 4%. We've retested all the way down towards 22 US dollars per ounce. But all of this, of course, you should be expecting if you've been following our week ahead commodity reports and you've not paid attention to delayed technical analysis where many traders, they've FOMO'd in at the top, they've had the rug pull and have essentially been liquidated as is the case often at this time of year especially as you move into Thanksgiving. Very common to see that profit taking around contract settlement, the end of the month, the Black Friday, exaggerated moves in the market where we have thinner liquidity. But now this sets up perfectly. Friday is non-farm payroll data, which can cause some massive impulse moves as well that you want to capitalize on. Then as we go into the following couple of weeks, we're going to be heading into the European Central Bank announcement, the FOMC statement, you've got quad witching, and we come into this stretch that we have at the end of the year in the lead up to Christmas and New Year's. Some great opportunities for you to finish the year on a high note and really finish the year strong. As I mentioned on Gold Asset of the Day, it will set you up to hit 2022 to hit the ground running, which is exactly what you want now. At this time of year, you've got through a lot of that end of month profit taking over November, the usual outflows that you see, and now you're starting to see the inflows come back in. Uh, on Thursday, the 2nd of December, silver prices, they're finally starting to turn in fact to the upside, finding some support at 22 US dollars per ounce. As we also mentioned to you on Tuesday's gold asset of the day, we're looking for support this week on gold between 1,760 US dollars per ounce. Came all the way back down, hit that level. Subsequently, we did get a bounce back towards 1794 just earlier on in the week. So we're definitely moving within those ranges. And again, keep an eye on silver here and gold into Friday's non-farm payroll data. That could be a strong catalyst go into next week and you don't want to miss out on the strong cycles that you then get as you transition into the second, third and fourth week of December for you to capitalize on. But again, just be mindful that you do not want to be utilizing these outdated technical strategies or gimmicky indicators where you end up buying right at the top of the move just before the market is about to have a correction. You want to be on the right side of the moves. You also want to make sure that you are being early to trade where you can build into your position at much more favorable prices and avoid really all of this chop in the market which is very easy to do if you understand the cycles in the market then you can capitalize massively this of course comes down to having a research driven approach in the market where you do understand the daily the weekly the monthly the quarterly cycles you have to understand the capital flows in the market extremely important obviously alongside that the intermarket correlations the ratios in the market be aware of fundamentals the drivers that can have a big impact obviously we have the new covid variant at the moment that's creating some risk off environment and big opportunities for you to really capitalize on at the moment with the metals across the board but particularly the precious metals at this time of year then alongside that of course you want to understand which major news items will be the biggest driver for the metals creating those impulse moves and of course alongside that utilizing data statistics market intelligence sentiment in the market and understand how the hedge funds money managers banks and institutions are positioned in the market that will help you massively to get an edge. As you know, technical analysis does not work. If you use technical analysis alone in the market, you are guaranteed to get crushed. You'll get chopped up consistently. It's death by a thousand cuts. And essentially, you'll make no money. We definitely do not want that for you. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research-driven approach to the market, and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click on the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program.